Uh, coming near to the end of the day, there's loads of cocktail parties going on. It's 4.30 in the day. I've been up since 7 in uh, the Fira at 8. Uh, my throat is dying. I am tired from talking and tired from doing interviews. So uh, this is the last one of the day and then there's a couple of parties. So I'll see how we get on. Um, but definitely have to get back to the hotel and have a bit of a clean up as well. But we're at the Disguise uh, booth and we're going to do an interview with Disguise. So Jack, thank you for joining us on All Things Techie uh, at the Disguise booth. Uh, tell us a bit about Disguise. So Disguise was born about 23 years ago at a live event. Um, and we've taken that technology today to be in an XR environment, which is what you're seeing behind me. Um, we still do live events, that's our bread and butter. But we have uh, LBX, we have Cloud, we have Broadcast and uh, VP and XR. So we're bringing it all together today on this booth at ISC. What I love as well is the fact that like I, I'm not a I'm not a fan of a VR with goggles, but like this is just phenomenal. As soon as you put it in front of a camera, it just looks unbelievable. So tell, talk me through some of the tech behind this. Sure. So we have a lot of tech here. We have an Arri camera and Arri lights. Okay. We have NCAM tracking system. We have Rory LED, which is a BP2 V2. And we have an iPad which is controlling the whole environment as well. But Disguise sits at the heart of it. So we have uh, two VX4 Pluses behind this large LED wall. We have four RX nodes which are rendering Notch and Unreal 5. And then Disguise is bringing this all together. We do multiple calibrations to make sure this is a seamless merge between the physical world and the virtual world. And then the camera movement allows you to explore as much of that as you want. It acts as if it's in the real world, but it's in the I virtual world. I can see world. your background change as the camera comes down at the moment which is absolutely phenomenal and it's, it's seamless yeah and um, like so this the build for graphic design how, how difficult is it to, to to make something like this so this was made by one of our um, partners is in Meptic we now uh, are officially part of the disguise company um, and it took them uh, about two weeks to make it all uh, and they're actually three separate worlds combined into one so we start in different areas of the tube and we go through we explain certain areas of disguise we end up in a VP world which is our spaceship where we can change the colors of the moons and that also reflects in the lighting around us where, where do you see this most used then? Uh, apart from gaming, of course, but where, where do you see this most used? We see so many different verticals. So we see this used in virtual production for your films, for your Netflix. We see it a lot now in broadcast as well and creeping into live events as well. So they can render it in Notch, Unreal, Unity or even Touch Designers. So there's a lot of different verticals used at the same time. Talk me through the camera that's around here. I'm going to spin around. Yeah. So this is an Arri Mini LF with a huge um, Arri a Zoom 1880 uh, lens on it. Very expensive kit and setup. It's sitting on an equipment jib um, and it's weighted perfectly so that you get a very weightless motion when you move it around, um, allowing for the tracking to work all together very happily. And we allow customers to come up and touch it and move it around. We're not afraid for let people touch and take photos. It's all part of the experience. And how much does a camera operator need to know? Like, is, is it behind the scenes? Is there a video? just doing what is told as soon as the Yeah, exactly. Operates. So the, all the hard work is done within disguise. So the camera operator can come in and act like he would in a normal, uh, natural environment, whether he was outside, but he can act like he is in the real world, but he's in the virtual world. This is the virtual world, but like, you talk about different scenes. How good is it from swapping audio scenes to different... Very, very quickly. That's the yeah. great power of Disguise. We can actually go from video to Unreal to Notch to Unity very, very quickly. We can build up a layer in our timeline, which allows us to render this content instantaneously. We obviously have real-time engines. That's very easy for Disguise to do. And we can switch environment at the click of a button, which is what we do with our iPad on this stage. I love to say, uh, I'm putting on the spot, case studies. What, what's been your favorite to do with Disguise and doing this type of... Um, you are putting me on the spot. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a lot of case studies, like especially Orca Studios here in uh, Spain and Momos. They're using their uh, same integration that you're seeing here. Lots going on. Uh, lots in the UK and in America as well. With Turner Studios, they're doing a nice ice hockey integration as well. We're seeing it more and more. And the great thing about our uh, demos every hour on the hour is that we get a showreel of two minutes. So you get to see the entire integrations of what we've done since we've been established. 
Okay, let's have a walk around the booth and you can show me some sure. So over here we have our broadcast pods. And this is showing our port integration. So this is linking directly into Unreal 5. So this allows you to preview what's potentially coming up next on your LED volume. So I can click here and I can see that my next uh, upcoming scene is this disguise scene with a basketball animation on it. But this is what it establishes as the broadcast world, makes it very easy because people want that confirmation, they know what they're going to get next and they were going to see their stats before they're actually released yes. to the environment. So we can remove this uh, basketball scene from the output. So I know when I go next, I'm gonna see my Polygon Labs, my Disguise logo. I can even change virtual camera positions if I want to. So I can come here, I can say actually, let's, what's, what's he gonna see from camera two's virtual position? So you get that clarity and confidence that you can use this. And when you go next to your scene, you've got that confidence straight to output. That's incredible. What what size videos yeah. must be going through this whole system? So this is actually directly with um, uh, Unreal. So there's no videos involved at the minute. Okay. Um, but we not uh, disguise is very good at playing back video as well. So not Chelsea, all sorts of um, we use Hat Hat Q, uh, 4K high resolution videos. Disguise doesn't have a problem with playing it back. This is our notch interactive table. So you can see here as I touch the screen, we can make particles move and explode and be more uh, attracted to my finger as we go about. The great thing about this is it's also multi So I can put all four fingers on here. And this is great for kind of educational purposes, yep. interactive purposes, and all sorts of verticals, because uh, this could be data. And you can think of the minority report when he's flying things about, integration with data, very good in that sense. And this is running on our latest GX3 um, chassis. Uh, it's very responsive. Very responsive, exactly. Uh, getting that instant reaction in real time again. Thank you so much, Jack, for, for showing us around. Uh, if people want to find more about the booth, what, what's, where should they contact you? Uh, so you can find us at Disguise the One on the web, or we're currently at uh, 5J300 at IC 2023.